Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel Awaken with Nancy. This is going to be a timeless reading and what we're doing today is we're getting some messages from spirit to you. I am using a combination of tarot and oracle decks and with each one we are going to look at the past energy the present energy and the future energy to get lots of messages and guidance for you. Um, so in the past, this is interesting. We've got the three of keys. This is the chess game. Um, this is the overall guidance. So what I'm feeling here this is about strategy, but it's also about manipulation. And so what I'm feeling is in the past, there have there could have been people who were taking advantage of you or trying to take advantage of you, trying to manipulate you, trying to get their way. Um, and so this is a message. Spirit wants you to really think about this. Think about who these people could possibly be because this is something that you may have a blind spot about. Um, oftentimes when we are in relationship, not just romantic relationship, but you know, we have relationships with co-workers and bosses and our parents. When we are in relationship, um, sometimes if it's a very close relationship, we can be blinded to the behavior of others. Um, so this is something that spirit is really wanting you to take a look at, okay? Um, think about this because there needs to be a change. Um, there needs to be a change within this dynamic. I feel there's a need for you to establish boundaries with other people. Um, that is what's coming through. Now, in the present, we've got the three of roses, and this is the loving elementals. And what this is saying, what spirit wants you to know is that these are your guides. These loving elementals are your spirit guides and they are all around you. They are protecting you and guiding you. They're sending signs and signals to you to help you on your journey, to help you come to a place where you recognize the um, behavior of others, the intentions of others that are not pure of heart. And so I do feel that you are going to wake up to this if this is something that you've not been seeing. If you have been seeing this, I do feel that it's been a struggle for you establishing boundaries and being firm with those for whatever reason. But you do have people around you that have been taking advantage of you. Um, they, yeah, they just do not have pure intentions when it comes to you. And it's almost like they're blinded by their own behavior. Um, it's, it's very, um, it's, they're very singularly focused and they are um, very selfish, okay? Um, what's coming through for me is uh, narcissistic tendencies. Uh, everything is focused on them and not the other. So just be aware of that. These loving elementals, your spirit guides are here to assist you, okay? Um, they, they, I just feel like with them surrounding you, they're creating a barrier of protection. And what they want you to know is that you can also protect your energy. You can protect your auric field. Um, I'm not gonna go into that too much here. I could give you, you know, some exercises to do, but it's a little bit complicated. Um, so you can Google it and, and see what feels good to you. But um, yes, I do feel like there is some auric protection that is needed and firm boundaries as well. Um, that is what spirit wants you to know. Okay. That's the overall guidance. And then um, in the future, we've got the lightning bolt. This is amazing. This is the eight of forces. And so we're seeing like three different elements here. We're seeing the roses, which really um, would translate not exactly, but to the cups and the keys would be the pentacles and 
then the forces would be um, the, uh, I want to say the blades, the, the swords, you guys, the swords. Um, but again, I they're not exact translations, you guys. So with the lightning bolt, um, the eight of forces, this is, uh, this could be, um, to me, this is like when lightning strikes. It's like a realization. It's almost like, I'm feeling like it's um, almost like a tower moment, sudden changes. It's something very, very dramatic that is going to occur in the future. Um, and it does not have to be bad, but it is going to happen rather suddenly is what I'm feeling and it's going to, yeah, it's going to, it's going to come out of nowhere, but I feel like it's very positive energy. Um, yeah, this, what the, what the guidebook says is at first glance, the event may seem sudden or unexpected, but in the light that flashes, we see the deep puddles of a storm that has been going on for quite some time. You've probably been aware of the threat or difficulty at some level, even if you were unwilling to acknowledge it before. This is crazy because this is everything that I've been saying, that I've been channeling. This is crazy. Thank you, Spirit. Um, even if you were unwilling to acknowledge it before, now it's time to accept the situation and not fight what's so. There is a benefit coming, but it often takes an ending to bring forth a new beginning and a storm to cleanse the field. So yes, um, something very dramatic is coming in the future. And I feel that it has something to do with these people, um, these selfish, manipulative people um, in your life. And they don't even have to be presently um, in close proximity to you. It could be energetic connections with past lovers or parents that um, have passed on or that we have cut out of our lives. They don't have to be physically present in your life. But I feel like their energy, it's, um, it's a... Uh, it's a darker energy. Um, they're refusing to let go of you. They want to draw you back in is what I'm feeling. And this is why the elementals are coming through to help protect you. And so, yeah, I don't mean to scare you guys. You're not going to come to any harm at all because we've got the elementals here. But this is really just about people in your life who don't have your best interests at heart. And there's going to be a showdown. And, you know, the light always wins, you guys. So don't doubt that for a moment. Um, you know, it's, it's really about protecting yourself from toxicity and manipulation, like I said, um, codependency, criticism, just all of those bad behaviors that drag us down and dim our light and our self-confidence. And so spirit wants you to know that you are divinely protected and, um, you know, just, just, um, do your own self-protection rituals that you can with your space. And like I said, your aura, um, and everything's going to be good. Everything is going to be good. Now, let's take a look at the issues that your guides are helping with. So I'm going to use now the Keepers of the Light deck. What are your guides helping with? Um, ooh, in the past, we've got Mahavatar Babaji, soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. Okay. I do feel that part of this has to do with these people in your life um, where there was a lack of awareness. There has come to be a recent awareness and this is expanding. And I'm also feeling that um, somebody in the mix has been very pivotal in your um, spiritual awakening, perhaps a spiritual ascension. One of these people may have triggered something within you um, that led to this spiritual awakening, this spiritual um, 
ascension so that you could um, achieve, you know, soul expansion and start, you know, expanding that consciousness, seeing things from a higher perspective. It's about an understanding of universal laws. This is all something that has been coming to you, um, you know, in, in the recent past. I feel like the last couple of years. So this is something that spirit is, has been helping you with the elementals, are here helping you with this as well. Let's look at the present moment. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. You're getting really cool cards, Taurus. Um, we've got Commander Ashtar, call to action, take charge, lead by example, and walk your talk. So, this is what your guides are helping you with. Um, what I'm feeling, you know, because I did bring forth that message about the importance of taking action. Um, or was that with another video? Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm not sure. Anyway, I may be repeating myself, but here goes. We can say our affirmations, we can think positively, um, but unless we're willing to take action, things will not change. Things will not like magically manifest for us. It is really about taking action. And so if you have been reluctant to take action in some way, then, you know, spirit is saying it's time. This is the only way that you are going to see the changes that you are wanting. And I do feel that it has to do with these people from your past. Um, they're, these are people that do not want to let you go, um, but they're not changing. Their soul is not expanding. You are um, a much, much, they're attracted to you because of your light. They're attracted to that bright light. And they actually feel you leaving them behind. They feel this ascension, this awakening and this ascension process that you are going through. And they, um, it's almost like these people are energy vampires. That's exactly what they are. They're energy vampires. And so it really is time to take charge, lead by example, and walk your talk. So if you don't want somebody in your life, then it's time to take measures to get them out of your life. And it could be energetic. It could be cord cutting. Um, perhaps, um, you know, Reiki would benefit you. Um, crystal healing, uh, you know, just, um, oh, what, I mean, there are so many different things that you can do. Um, you know, the aura protection is definitely, definitely very, very important. Um, contract updating. Um, you know, soul contract updating, uh, anything that you can do, um, you're being called to do. This is what your guides are helping you with. They want you to see the importance of taking action on these things and doing whatever you can to really, um, release these energies from your, um, uh, your spirit, your soul body, they're attached. Um, they, they may have gotten in through holes in your auric field, something like that. So it's time to clean energetic house, so to speak. Um, interesting messages, interesting messages. I would love to hear your feedback on this reading because this is brand new. I've never done this before. I really like it. And I hope you too, you do too. And I would love to hear your comments if you want to leave them below. So thank you in advance. Okay. Wow. Archangel Michael is showing up and this is trusting heaven. So Archangel Michael is showing up today to just encourage you to trust in the divine order, in the divine process, in divine timing, trusting that spirit and these loving elementals are working on your behalf. They are doing what is in your highest and best good. This says you are safe. Angels stand 
close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Okay. Um, so these are your angels and they are very, very close to you. I feel because this message about auric protection keeps coming through, I feel that yes, there may be an opening in your auric field um, that uh, these energies are coming through. And it's, you know, it's pretty common. Um, so I hope that doesn't freak you out, but it is pretty common. So I feel like they are so close to you um, to, to protect, you know, any other energies getting through your auric field. Um, a lot of times other energies enter through our feet. Isn't that interesting? Our aura goes all around us, you guys, top, bottom, sides, everywhere. And, um, you know, just through imbalance and, and other things, we, we can have these openings. Um, so I would encourage you to Google it or go to a specialist to help with um, just, you know, repairing any um, openings within your auric field. So yeah, um, you are safe. Your angels are here for you. They are protecting your auric field. Beautiful. Now, what I want to do is I want to use Work Your Light Oracle deck. I absolutely love these cards. And we're going to take a look at what Spirit wants you to know, what your guides want you to know, what do these beautiful elementals want you to know. Oh my gosh, in the past. So this is what your guides have been um, working. This is what your guides have been working on with you in the past. This is what they want you to understand. This is what they want you to know is to trust your path. Isn't this interesting? Because we are getting this trust message twice. So this is a theme. Um, trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Okay, this is in the recent past. So for some of you, you may be at a place where you want to follow your soul's calling, okay, and change your work, okay, change industries, do something completely different. Maybe you want to become an artist. It, it doesn't matter what it is, but there's something. It's like if you knew you were supported, what would you do? Would you change careers? Um, would you go back to school? Would you have a baby? Um, you know, it's going to be different for all of you. Um, would you go live in an ashram? Um, you know, whatever it is, but this is about trusting. And this is really um, what your guides want you to know, that it's important to trust in the divine order, the divine plan, trust in heaven. Archangel Michael is here. Your um, spirit guides are here. So just trust that they have your best interests at heart, you guys. And whatever it is that you're wanting to do, you are going to be supported. They're here for you. They're supporting you. It's so beautiful. Let's look at the current energy. You are loved and supported, Taurus. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Very, very interesting. We've got mirror. Who or what is triggering you? This is fascinating because it is right under Commander Ashtar call to action, take charge. So there are people in your life and I feel that they are these energy vampires, these manipulators, these narcissistic people, selfish people in your life or in your energy field and they are triggering you. Memories, um, words spoken between the two of you, behaviors, it's really, really triggering you. And so what your guides want you to know is it is important right now for you to go within to figure out why these people or these things, these situations are so triggering to you. 
Um, this is where the healing can occur. This is not easy work. This is absolutely not easy work. I mean, who wants to think about somebody or something that makes us feel bad, that triggers like all this anxiety and these bad feelings? But this is what your guides are asking you to do, is do this work. Um, and what what I'm feeling is that they, they want you to actually keep a journal so that you can see your progress. And you guys, I've been working with my own triggering for a couple of years now. I've healed so much, it's amazing. It has not been easy because it's about going back and thinking about these things. And you know, why does this upset me so much? Why does this trigger me so much? And it's allowed me to see things from a much broader perspective and not take it so personally. Um, that's, that's what's happening is when we're triggered, we take things personally. We make it about us. Um, we make it seem like we're being treated in such a way or things happen to us because we're not worthy, we're not lovable, whatever it is, whatever it is, um, that magic never happens for us, whatever it is. Um, but you are being asked to do this work right now and keep a journal so you can uh, keep track of your progress. This is something very, very important for you, Taurus. Let's take a look at what spirit and your guides want you to know for future. What messages are for the future? What do they want you to know? We got two cards. Wow. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. Um, okay. Take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So there's a couple messages coming through about this. One is because we've got this um, mirror energy and uh, you're being called to do all this work. Okay. What Spirit is saying is in the near future, you're going to need to take a break. It's like we can only do this deep healing work for so long and then, yeah, we've got to take a step back from it. Um, it's exhausting. And so this is the message. Take a break. If you're feeling exhausted, if you're feeling depleted by doing this work, then you it's going to be important for you to take a break and replenish your um replenish your life force energy um, by through exercise and good food and play and doing things that bring you happiness, okay? Um, you can't stay on the treadmill forever. And this healing that we are all doing, you guys, it is not a one-time thing. It, it, you know, it's not like we start on Monday and we're done on Sunday. No, no, no. It lasts a lifetime because as we heal one thing, another thing comes through. And this allows us to really come into alignment with who we are, who we truly are, who we are truly meant to be. And it brings us into wholeness. Um, you, you know, it's about arriving at that place where we are whole and we are, um, you know, just a light, a bright light and there is just infinite joy that is, you know, um, beaming outward and it's just, just beautiful. That is where we're going. It doesn't take a week. It doesn't take a month. It doesn't take a year. This is an ongoing thing. So you will have to take periodic breaks. Now, the other, um, oh, I'm sorry. The other message is that um, this is about trusting your path. And if you are feeling burnt out with what you're doing now, it's time to get off that treadmill. You may be making a lot of money doing what you're doing, or maybe not. It's going to be different for each and every one of you, but you may be very financially stable doing what you're doing, but it's not fulfilling to you. 
And so this is a message about get off the treadmill. Go and do what sets your heart on fire. This is what spirit is, is saying. Now, the other message that is coming through is the keepers of the earth. This is really amazing. You are so supported, Taurus. This says you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. This is what your guides, what spirit wants you to know your ancestors are beside you archangel michael is with you and you've got these loving elementals and they these could be your ancestors i i would not be surprised um if these are your ancestors that are surrounding you because it is a very protective energy and look how happy this this little baby is um feeling very safe very protected and so this is something that spirit wants you to know that your ancestors are protecting you okay you're safe you don't need to worry about that um these entities these other energies these people in your life they you are being protected from them but you do still have to take action okay now let's see um how you can connect with your guides. How you can connect with your guides. How can Taurus connect with their guides? Interesting. Okay, the past energy is the page of Ariel. This is the page of Pentacles. This is reliable, clever, educated, and balanced. And it says, an excellent opportunity will be offered to you, scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. So this is about a new chapter. Um, this is about a new chapter where you are pursuing an education, maybe not formally, but this is about going deeper into your own spiritual journey. This is how you can connect to your guides. And this began in the recent past. You see all these books. You may be reading, you may be studying, um, uh, listening to podcasts, watching YouTube videos. And this is helping you to learn a lot of information. You're learning about universal laws, universal truths, and it is um, opening you up so that you can connect with your guides on a much deeper level. This is, um, for some of you, this may be new, okay? Um, so there is a learning curve. Um, but we all start somewhere. Um, for those of you who this is not new, I just feel like in the past, you've really kind of stepped up to the plate on this journey and you do want to connect more deeply. So you've really been putting in the work. This is beautiful. What is the present energy? How you can really connect with your guides? How can you connect with spirit and your guides? Wow. Okay. Um, interesting. We've got the Knight of Gabriel, which is the Knight of Wands. And this is confident, enthusiastic, courageous, and charismatic. Time to take action. Great passion for a cause. Instinctively knowing just what to do. And this is so interesting because we have this action word twice now. And, you know, so this really is about taking action. This is how you can connect with your guides. Um, you can't be passive about this. You've got to be an active participant. And what I'm getting from this is sometimes it does take courage, okay? Um, but, and confidence, courage and confidence, and what I'm feeling from this, what they're wanting you to know is to trust the information that comes through, okay? Sometimes messages, signs, synchronicities, they don't make sense to us. This is why it's going to be important to keep a journal 
um, because you may go, you know, you may write something down, it doesn't make sense, and then and then you have an epiphany and you come back to it a couple days later. And what you've written down is going to help you make more sense of it, okay? Um, so that's, go that's going to increase your confidence and it's going to make you feel very, very empowered. Um, and this is also about learning different techniques to connect to the spirit realm. Um, you may want to do some, you know, research about um, chakras, uh, specifically sh crown chakra and the brow chakra, um, something like that. You may want to use crystals, um, whatever it is, but it's time to take action and take those steps that are going to really um, bring in a deeper connection between you and spirit and these beautiful ancestors and elementals. I love it. Now we're going to look to the future. Wow. Okay, this is really cool. Um, how you can connect with spirit and your guides in the future. We've got the Ace of Michael. This is the Ace of Swords. And this says, a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. What I'm feeling is... Um, with the communication problems, there could be like a disconnect between you and spirit, your ancestors, your elementals. Um, and so the there's, I don't know, it's like the lines of communication have gone haywire. And so you're not receiving the information the way you should be receiving it. There's something about that. Um, but so so there's been some bumps along the road but what i'm feeling is you know with the ace of swords this is about a breakthrough this is a, an aha moment an epiphany um and it's a new beginning uh so i do feel like you're going to make a breakthrough um through all of this hard work taking action you're going to make a breakthrough and it's just going to be incredible we got the three of Raphael. this is the three of cups reasons to celebrate a community of friends happy announcements regarding relationships or children so what i'm really feeling is um you're going to find the key that opens up this door that the door is just going to like fling wide open communication is going to be crystal clear it's going to blow your mind when this happens because you are just going to be receiving tons of downloads that are going to help you in the future okay and this is coming in soon all right coming in soon, you are going to be so happy. You're going to be wanting to celebrate. And with, um, this is very much a community card to me. So I am feeling that, um, because of this breakthrough, uh, you are going to be calling in like, a, um, more of your soul tribe members making this breakthrough, it's going to energetically call them in. And so you are going to have a huge community of um, people who support and encourage you. And then you've got the community in the spirit world, the elementals, the ancestors, um, your angels, your guides, um, that are supporting you as well. So this is just like an absolutely beautiful way to end this reading. Um, the end is about you making a breakthrough and this could lead to a further spiritual ascension is what I'm feeling. Wow, Taurus, I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I am sending you just tons of love. Bye-bye.